Well, good morning. Um, today, which is the 11th of May, um, quite a late start today, it's 9.32, and we're in glorious Glen Affric. Uh, I can see Loch Bainavi in behind me. Um, it's pretty claggy today. However, um, we're up here today and we have with us John McLeod. And uh, <laughs> we have John McLeod with us, the Colorado kid, and a friend from Colorado, Amy. So today we are attempting to go up on a um, Tomahonich. So that's the target for today. Going to be a leisurely um, walk in. Um, hopefully the cloud will clear, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think it's a 60% chance of Cloud Freeman Rose, so we'll see. Hopefully we'll get we'll get some views, um, especially having friends from um, foreign climes. Uh, it would be nice to, uh, to let her see what the area really looks like. Okay, we'll bring you back soon. Pardon? So, we're approaching the gate. First gate of the day, hopefully the last gate of the day. Um, we're going along the landy track and progressing to the wee hydro dam. Um, very small hydro dam, but excellent way of generating electricity. Um, Run about these glens as small stations rather than the, the giant, the giant things that we've got down in the glen, uh, which generate lots of megawatts. Here, these small ones are about 100 kilowatt. Sometimes a bit bigger, depending on the, the water course, of course. So, just waiting on the Colorado kid catching us up. All warmed up. <laughs> good people in. So, yeah, really good walking for the first, I don't know, I think it's a couple of kilometres or maybe further. Uh, as I said, to, until we get to the dam, um, and then we're, we're back into Bogsville. I think it's about one and a half to two kilometres of bog, and then we're up onto a nice stalker path, which ascends the the twisting um, the twisting ridge of Pomachoni. So we'll bring you back soon. So, we're fairly well on where I sent now. Nice wee waterfall there. But, here's our summit ridge. Still snow capped, snow lined. And as we look round, this is the start of the ridge that goes up onto Mamsul and Carnega, looking towards the um, Glenshiel Hills. We got a cloud just hanging in there. And as we pan round in the distance, don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, I'll zoom in. I don't know if you can see the wind farm, but that is Fairburn Wind Farm. And then 
enjoying back to the waterfall. Uh, well, as you can see, we are nearing the summit of Tomahoney. Um, still a fair bit of snow sitting in the quarry yet. Um, so, yeah, quite, quite spectacular. You can see there's a bit of clag rolling in. We've had it fairly clear, um, and if we pan round, you can see Carnega, Mamsul, can't quite see Ben Yonlai, it's in the mist. You can tell ridges, uh, there'll be a wee bit of cloud dropping, but we can actually see Ben Nevis through here. Um, nah, it's just, the clouds just kind of a shrouding a wee bit. However, not to worry. This, this one here is Skurnalapik, which again a second Skurnalapik which has been demoted. Um, still got the height, but it's a drop between that and Mamsul that ruled it out, I believe. So, hi. Fantastic all, as I've already said before. Uh, so, looking over at um, Paul Reckon. And then we have the Colorado Twins here. <laughs> oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. And the younger ones, should have said. <laughs> okay, we'll bring you back at the summer. Getting excellent views, and then wait, wait to see this. Just wait to see this. Blank. <laughs> Blank. Amy taking some nice snaps. John praying. And looking back down to Log Ben Avain. Now, with a bit of luck, that cloud will blow by, and we'll be able to see a wee bit further. Now, I can just see the cooling ridge, but the clouds hitting it now, so I'm not going to bother videoing it. Um, so we'll get back to that later. There we go. Summit guys, Tomahawney, 
um, altitude 1,112 metres, which is quite a lot of feet. Um, we're sitting up here, uh, just had a wee glass of cider, which is very nice, courtesy of the lovely Amy. And um, so, yeah, be very nice. Uh, I just wish the cloud would do one. Uh, I've been up here on many occasions, but it's Amy's first ever Monroe. Um, and uh, it's just a pity that we're not getting spectacular views because from here you can see the full of the Afric range. So you can see 12 Monroe's, well, 12 if you include the one we're standing on, easily. Um, also, we're looking across the Contail Ridges. You can see the corner of the Sky Ridge. Um, we actually got a glimpse of Ben Nevis earlier on before the, the cloud decided to envelop us. Um, but all in all, this, this is actually a very nice single Monroe day out. Um, the other one, uh, Tall Craig, is a bit boring, but um, we're here just for an enjoyable day out. I think this is about the sixth or seventh time I've been up here or something like that, but it's such a nice Monroe and such a beautiful area. Um, so uh, if it clears, we'll bring you back later on and um, give you some of the views. Okay, speak to you later. So this is us now on the descent from Tom Aconich to the Bialoch in between that Monroe and Tom Crecken. Um, our plan for today is to get to the Bialoch and make a sharp turn right um, and then exit via the, um, the, the original path up. So um, rather than do the second Monroe, we're just going to go down this glen here. Um, so, make it a wee bit of a shorter day. We've taken our time, didn't have a super early start, um, just a nice relaxed start, bit of exercise for the day, and then, uh, yeah, Tom McConaughey in the bag again. So, yeah, been a pleasant day so far. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll try and get down to the Bialoch and uh, then we'll bring you back later on, possibly in another car, um, or from on the path. We'll see. Because um, once we start getting into this, this glen here, there's not an awful lot to see. Uh, we're losing the height, so obviously we lose the views over into um, Loch Benavian. So uh, that's that. Okay, bring you back soon. Well, that's us back at the car after um, just short of about a 10 mile outing. Um, we're about, I don't know, we're about seven hours on the hoof. So, um, Amy's first Scottish Monroe, first Monroe, uh, which she's obviously quite pleased about. John's, how many? 16. Eh? 16. 16. And no more. Uh, no count for me as it's a, a multi-repeat. However, um, it's still a fantastic day. Great exercise. Um, another Monroe under my legs at least. So, uh, as per usual, the stats will go up in the video later on. Um, we will put the, the video together as per usual. So, um, I'm fortunate enough to have, uh, or will get a copy of um, Amy and, and John's pictures, so um, we can we can use them together with uh, some of the videos of Dan and pictures. Some lovely snaps, some lovely views today. 
Um, we were very lucky because when we got to the summit, uh, after sitting having a wee snack, it clagged in. So it didn't clear until we were starting to go down the, the, the descent path. However, prior to that, lovely views of what you can tell. Uh, looking west, looking north to the Mladen Hills. Yeah, well you know, quality day. We'll speak to you soon. Well, by the way, um, thank you for watching if you watched this far. And please uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind. And it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. Bye.